Om Shanti, we are here with the 18th of June called Blessing where Supreme God Father wants us to be cheerful and happy in any situation. Let's find out what does he have to say. God says, may you be happy hearted and cheerful and stay constantly cheerful with your royalty of purity. So the only method to be cheerful and happy is to have royalty of purity. Let's explore that. God says, souls who have the royalty, that is, the reality of purity, constantly dance in happiness. If they are really pure, not just showing that they are pure outside. Even in Brahma Kumaris, if you are wearing a white cloth around your body, it doesn't mean that you are pure. But yes, it does remind you <clears throat> that you need to remain pure. And you need to think pure for every soul on this earth. Your thoughts have to be royally pure. And that is for your own benefit. That is for your own peace of mind. So God says their happiness is sometimes less. Day by day their happiness continues to increase at every moment. So their happiness doesn't become less. It keeps on increasing at every moment the level of purity as it increases no matter what anybody thinks about them no matter what people say about them it doesn't really matter if their heart is clean if their mind is clean and clear and if the directions are clean and clear they are not at all bothered by anything in this world because they are pure within so god says day by day their happiness continues to increase at every moment. They will not be internally one thing and externally something else. Majority of the people in the world, they might smile when they meet you, but internally they're thinking ill about you most probably, or they're thinking not so clean about you. But outside, they are just reacting as if they know you, they're happy with you, and they love you a lot. Haven't you met those kind of people? Well, those people who have this kind of habit, <clears throat> they themselves are not happy within. If they don't have internal and external purity, then it is a sign that they are actually not happy within. So being in the company is not going to make you or anybody in the world happier. So God says that's why it is very important to have the true happiness and true happiness comes with the true royal purity. God then says, They are truthful in their attitude, vision, words and behavior. Their attitude means their outlook towards any situation is clean and clear. They have the right attitude of bringing benefit to everybody. And the vision is clear. It's, I'm an instrument in this world. I'm here for a purpose. I have to fulfill that purpose, make everybody content and happy and move ahead. Even though people sometimes don't understand the vastness of any situation or they are not such visionaries about any situation in the future, they cannot see through things, even then they don't lose their happiness. Even if they are blamed for certain things, they don't lose their happiness. Their words and their behavior are also truthful. They are upfront, straightforward, even if somebody doesn't like them, even if somebody doesn't get content with them, but they are straightforward because in the long term, it's going to pay. God then says, such real and royal souls constantly stay happy in their hearts. And they don't need to prove anything to anybody because they are real and royal souls and also in their eyes and their features. So in their eyes also, if you see through their eyes, if you look at the eyes, they're not hiding any bad attitude, bad intention, or they don't have any bad vision. They don't even use bad words or wrong words. So they stay happy in their hearts and also in their eyes and their features. They are externally happy-hearted and cheerful. 
So they might look as if they're very introvert, but they're actually happier and they are happy hearted and cheerful. Have you seen people like these? Do you want to become a person like this? Do you want to be real and royally pure and truthful so that you experience the true happiness within your life? For this, do visit the Brahma Kumari Center and learn this meditation process so that you can practice it and become that being which you intend to be. With this, Om Shanti.